moon around another planet. And it has a, a mineral, and I've, I got a laugh out of this one. The mineral is called unobtainium, and human beings have taken all of their uh, heavy equipment there to mine the planet and get this very, very valuable mineral. And they don't care whether they destroy the world of the natives or not. They're out just to plunder and to pillage and take everything they can get. Humans are made to look like absolute uh, monsters. Mm -hmm. uh, the population of pagans, uh, as JR said, they really mirror demons more than pagans. Yeah, they're the Nephilim. They are the Nephilim. The population exactly of pagans. Exactly like the bi biblical description of the Nephilim. <laughs> right. And they are made to look like absolute saints. Yes. Yeah. And the Antichrist, as we call him, becomes the Savior and he's the, he wins the day, him and the great red dragon. Mm -hmm. They win the day. They win the war and judge the humans. <laughs> but they don't kill the humans, they just ship them back home, which is a kind thing to do. Oh, well, that's yeah. not exactly the way the Bible has it. And by the way, uh, Gary, the end time, there are prophecies in the Bible that this kind of mentality will become very strong um, in the end time. Mm -hmm. um, for example, in Deuteronomy chapter 32, in the Song of Moses, verse 17, they sacrificed unto devils and not to God, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. New gods. This... These may not be gods, but on the silver screen, they are portrayed as with such realism yeah. that the people who were there just became indoctrinated that they're the good guys. It's just amazing to me. A, a, a fulfillment of Latter-day Prophecy, I think, J.R. I uh, read the other day that there are over 30 movies in Hollywood now being produced on the themes uh, that are found in Avatar. These would be the themes... Uh, like the noble savage, uh, the idea of pagan worship being superior to Christian worship, so forth and so on. Movies uh, with that theme, I think, are acculturating man to accept paganism as the true religion. Mm. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Daniel chapter 11, we find that the Antichrist... Uh, the king that shall do according to his will, exalt himself and magnify himself above every god. It says, Neither shall he regard the god of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any god, for he shall magnify himself above all. But in his estate he shall honor the god of forces. And a god whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and precious stones and pleasant things. Gary, mm -hmm. the idea of the return of the Nephilim... Um, the alien culture, uh, space brothers from outer space, sure. I, the UFO um, uh, flaps that are going on, the UFO culture that is uh, permeating societies, not only in America but all over the world, seem to be the fulfillment of biblical prophecy yes. for the end times. I agree. and. In fact, I just finished an article for Prophecy in the News in which I, I made a case for the fact that nowhere in the Bible can you find affirmation of the idea that's so popular right now, namely that aliens are coming from other planets to visit Earth. You never find that in the Bible. What you do find is that fallen angels, demons, etc. are coming through uh, into our uh, dimension where they are plaguing man and they are master posers. They are uh, able to make people think whatever uh, they desire to have thought about them. They can pose as space brothers and we accept them as space brothers. Mm -hmm. Now on this planet Pandora, as they walked through the forest, everywhere they walked, a light came on. You know, touch this flower, yeah. a light comes on. Right. You walk everywhere your foot steps, a light comes on. It's, it's a... Um, it's a Middle Earth type uh, mm -hmm. mentality, an ancient antediluvian world, uh, the Garden of Eden type yeah. of world. So, don't get sucked in. In the movie, they played on the emotions. The poor fellow with no legs and, and he's dying and he, he, needs, he needs some oxygen here. 
You know, I mean, give me a break. Yeah. Well, Jr., it does play on human sympathies. And uh, in the end, our hero, the human, finally transitions and becomes like the aliens, like the Navi. And he is incarnated into uh, a, one of their bodies. And he, ra he is r raised up in resurrection to become their leader. Now, if that is not a, uh, a false, counterfeit, messianic theme, I don't know what is. Yeah. So don't get sucked in by it. Don't get to feeling sorry for the Navi. I mean, I realize they are uh, imaginary creatures. It's just a movie, okay? I know that. I understand that. But it is preparing pagan people across America and around the world, people who have no desire for God in the first place, to love the devil. That's the way things will be in the end time. Any last word, Gary? The last word is uh, put on the full armor of God. As the Apostle Paul said, uh, you're going to need it to stand against the wickedness of the latter days. Yeah. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again Monday with our webcast. I'm J.R. Church with Gary Stearman. God bless. We'll see you then.